consultation with uh, EPA. EPA is a person that knows about engineering of environmental developments, something like that. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> um, I was looking at the situation of the doings of Herman and Kettle Company. Would that be possible? I'm gonna just, just start this conversation with an introduction. And in the introduction, that is a question. With, with Herman and Kittle built an apartment complex, knowingly that the apartment complex is going to crash. And then they would get, they would apply a bankruptcy problem is that if the apartment crash, uh, apartment complex crashed down, then there's going to be some loss of lives. Will they care about that? Will they get punished for that? Will they get a lawsuit for that? But instead, they will say bankruptcy. Would that, be, would that be the final landing? I hope not. But everything looks like it's heading that way. How do I know it? I've been, been doing some research. Well, my brother is an engineer. I'm not an engineer, but I can have an idea of things. Never was interested in my brother's career. I have two brothers. One of my brothers is an architect. The other one is an engineer. And they probably would know better about this, what's going on in here. Okay, let's go back to Herman and Kettle. Uh, <clears throat> this is what's gonna happen. There is, a, uh, there is a high risk, the police need to know this. There is a high risk that what they want to build in here will crash down, will it is crumbled down. There is not a good foundation here for the project they want. Uh, how can I explain this? I will, in very few words, because this is go deeper than this. I need to make a study about this before I ever speak, but I just can't wait to, to air this. Okay, this is the situation. What is underneath here, what they want to build, uh, the heavy building they want to build here is not it's not matching with the foundation. Why? Because the foundation here is a glacial till. When they start digging down, they're not going to okay, they're not going to cover all this up all the way high several feet with dirt and rocks and, and a, a rock foundation or a, a dirt foundation or whatever. They can do that because uh, it's, it's going to be very costly. It's going to cost a lot of money in the first place. In the second place, they're going to bury the building next door. The building is going to be down and then this building. Will... So that's not a possibility. OK, so what they already have said that they will do is that they will dig down this little valley here, which is only uh, once they start digging down okay the water level in the first place there is a river back there this this is a wet area there's a river back there that increases when they came and they made the study and they made the measures of this the river was low but this river i am i know because i live here for more than two years the river grows uh in in the springtime when the snow start melting up there the river grows up it floods almost and what's gonna happen uh, uh, right now, they measure like seven feet high up, um, above, you know. Uh, the land is above about, uh, let me see how many feet, no. The land is above not even a feet, not even a foot. I don't understand this. This is weird. 
But anyway, they don't have uh, the right uh, foundation, the right uh, uh, base for the for the project they have. It's, act, it's absolutely incongruent. It's not realistic. So if they dig down here, what they're gonna find down there is something that's called glacial till, which is grab like gravel. So, so to put a building that high and that heavy, they have to dig more than 30 feet down and there's no way, because when they start digging down here, probably three feet down, they're just gonna find a lot of water. It's, it's a very flaky, it's like building, putting a building up on the sand. That's what they're gonna do. Now, I gotta stop here for a minute. Another thing, because of the foundation down here, because what we're gonna find out is a glacial teal, which is like a gravel, and then it's moist, it's, it's wet, uh, plus, you know, like I said, when the river grows, it's gonna increase the, the, the floating of the, of, the, of the foundation here. Um, anyway, what's gonna happen is that the whole foundation, they, they cannot put pillars in it because of what's going because of the condition of the foundation here so the building is going to need pillars but they are they said they're not going to put pillars in it because they can't they cannot put pillars in here because it's not a good foundation the pillars will fall off so they're planning to put a flat building upon the piece of land that is going to make the building uh, uh it's incongruent they're going to make the building dangerous so <clears throat> imagine this, imagine if you, uh, by the time you consider how windy it gets in here, I have felt winds here, it feels like we're gonna blow away, you know, and the reason we don't blow away is because we have light trailers, they dance, they dance around, they dance, you know. When you put here a building, with, with a building on the sand here, and you're going to, um, uh, uh, how can I say, it's not, it's not gonna work. Unless they do like the buildings they do in Panama. I know my brother's an engineer. He have, he have worked in these buildings. Uh, they put a, a like air, how you, say, how you say that stuff? Air float, you know, like the building just kind of dance. If something moves the building, just go one way or the other, you know, like like New York. And, and uh, they have to do those buildings in Panama because of the ocean, right? So imagine... They're not gonna do that here. They're, they're gonna they're gonna make a sheep apartment complex here that is gonna crash down, and the people that are gonna be living in it are gonna die, right? So, so no no pillars. The building is gonna be flat down on the dirt on the on the glacial till. They, they what I imagine they're gonna do is. Um, I don't know. They're gonna be surprised when they start digging down. According with the, the person that uh, that it says, it's a uh, EPA person that knows about environment and construction. So, <clears throat> so the, they they have no option. They cannot put pillars in it, which is the security of the building at th that size. They need they're supposed to put pillars because it's a very very large building. So they say they cannot do that because of the foundation down below. So we're planning to do it anyway. Uh, to put the building anyway flat down on the on the on the piece you know on the piece of land here so the ambition is to have like 50 uh actually somebody changed a law here to make it possible also it's his, his her name is or his name is alan time for how can i pronounce it? supposed to it's all linked to the city people um before i go any far i'm gonna go in the internet and study this stuff because this is very interesting uh there is a possibility there is a 90 percent possibility that a building that tall with no foundation no pillars no good foundation no pillars uh will crash down with 57 uh stores the high, I mean, that's the feet high. Um, in other words, uh, to be, I don't know. 
it's just like it's just like building a cheap car you know that eventually is gonna kill the person that buys it a car that is not that secure in certain kind of weather same thing they're gonna they're gonna take the risk the risk to build a building where where they're gonna be loss of life at the end the company um herman and carl is gonna win because they're gonna they're gonna do a bankruptcy they're gonna get their money anyway they don't care about the people that die so what is the real purpose what is the real purpose behind it if they know this is gonna happen uh, it's not going to be a secure building once they start digging down they're gonna find out it's rocks it's rock it's gravel it's it's called um glacial teal uh, the, uh, there is also a, there is an, a, a, a problem here with the river. The river already has been. I mean, this is a scary. I heard the river this after this uh, springtime. The river, I, I don't know. I almost cry because it's almost like nature was crying. This, this, uh, this Idaho Springs. Okay, they made all these tunnels. To get all the waters from... <laughs> I saw I witness it this river didn't used to be like this you have to hear the waters it's just like they're crying for help I mean for mercy the water just goes so fast it's, it's not it's not a it's not a noise that is normal it's not a noise that is normal you can hear the waters running so fast like if they don't want a flood you know what I mean so they're going to build that building in here. You're going to see that water is, is, has a lot to do with the stability of the building. There's going to be a flood in here. So could you imagine? I don't know. I mean, this is this is a very, if somebody wants to build something like that, it's going to be, it takes a lot of more money to do that. It, it takes, it takes to do a work in the river because they're planning to put part of the building above the waters. Imagine because there is no room here for what they want to build. It's gonna be like a like a porch back there where the water is gonna run under. Oh my god. I just I just get so <laughs> I'm sorry, I just get so emotional because because I see how human beings force, they force nature, they force things. And uh, and eventually it's going to be a, a, a catastrophe, you know what I mean? When I think about the, the fire in California, uh, places that get on fire like that, you know, it's an area in California, how they, they build all these homes in there and and all the, all the hundreds of thousands of families die in the fire because it's not a place to build and so anyway um yeah one one those fires start they, they don't stop this is this happening in california so anyway i was just meditating in my bed i could hear the river just going so fast so fast so fast 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 it was not it was not nature normal and this is after they made all the change around here with the digging underground and putting all these tubes underground and all these sewer sewer things you know what i mean but i think it was necessary to do that for whatever reason they said it was but all the pressure all the pressure of the um, the mountains, the water from the mountains, from the snow start melting down, plus the rain. You have to hear, you have to hear this river. It's not like it used to be. I gotta stop.